All right. Hey, fourth graders. It's Mr. Steinberg. Um, it's been a while, but I wanted to try to help um, provide uh, a little visual um, for when you start the last unit in your um, math course. Um, it deals with numbers, but mainly things that we call um, factors and multiples. And sometimes there's a little confusion, confusion um, between trying to decide what is the question asking for, like what's a factor and what's a multiple. And I'll say this not to confuse you, but um, sometimes multiples can be factors. Um, <laughs> So uh, I'll do my best to try to clarify so you understand the difference between them. And then um, at the end, I, I, if I have time, I'm going to use a, a multiplication chart so you can, you can look for both on a multiplication chart if you're not sure. So let's start with um, any number. Let's take the number um, of 2. Let's start with the number 2. So if you look at the number 2, you have to ask yourselves, what are, what are all the numbers I can multiply together? Um, so that my product is 2. And the only thing I can use, I can use 1 times 2. So the number 2 has how many factors, right? The number 2 has a 1 and a 2. So it has, uh, we would say it has 2 factors. So these are the factors, right? The, the, we have a factor of 1 and a factor of 2. Those are the 2 factors for the number 2. Let's look at another number and let's find um, some more factors. Let's look at the number six. So if you look, if you think about the number six, what are some ways or, or what are some um, factors we can multiply together to reach six? Well, I can go one times six because one the number one six times or the number six one time is still six. And you can also multiply 2 times 3, right? You can have the number 2 3 times or the number 3 2 times. So how many factors are there? Well, we have 1 factor, 2 factors, 3 factors, 4 factors. So the number 6 has 4 factors, right? So these are the 4 factors uh, for the number 6, meaning um, the 2 factors, 1 and 6, will, will reach 6. And then the 2 factors, 2 and 3, will also give us um, 6 or 2 times 3. So I hope, I hope this is kind of making sense. I'll show you another one. Some numbers have a lot of factors and some don't. Let's look at the number 12. Um, yeah, let's look at the number 12. Number 12 happens to have a lot. So again, so I'm going to start. I know I can use 1 times 12. I can use um, 2 times 6. And I can also use 3 times 4. So those are all factors. Okay. And you can multiply 1 times 12. Those are two of the factors. There's two of them. And here's two more. And then finally, two more down here. So the number 12 has six factors. See, some factors will have a lot and some will not. In fact, some of them are so special, they'll only have two. And we'll talk about that in another video. How about the number, um, let's see, how about the number 9? Let's get the number 9, and then I'll move over to multiples. Number 9, you can multiply 1 times 9, or you can multiply 3 times 3, right? Because the number 3, 3 times. Now, here's where you have to be careful. We know that this is a pair of factors, 1 times 9. But if you look at the number, or these down here, 3 times 3, 3 is the same factor. So it only counts once. So the number 9 only has 3 factors. We can't count 3 twice because it's the same number. So it has 1 times 9, or you can do 3 times 3. And if you count the total, it has uh, 1, 2, and 3, 3 factors. And let me, I think I have time for one more. I think I have time for one more. Let's do a tough one. Um, I, like doing, I like doing this one because I know that there's a lot. Let's look at the number 24. Think of all the different ways you can multiply numbers or factors to get 24. 1 times 24, um, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. So that's a lot. You have a lot of uh, factor pairs, right? We have two here. You have two of them here and two more here. 
and two more right here. So there's uh, two, 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 and two. So the number 12, right? Then sorry, the number 24 has eight total factors, which is a lot. So again, some numbers will tend to have a lot and some will tend not to. But again, what we're trying to, what we're trying to um, distinguish is that if you take two numbers and you multiply them and you get a product, those are two factors that you multiply together. So this is two factors, this is two factors, these are two factors, and these are two factors. So remember, factors are when you, um, you multiply two numbers together and you get a product. But what about a multiple? What's a multiple? Multiples are basically repeated addition, but um, using the same number. So let's, let's find the multiples. Let's try the number five. No, let's do six. Six sometimes is, is challenging. Multiples are like this. You do six times one, and that's six. Six times two. Well, that's 12. So when you when you when you list the same number and you just find the multiples of that number, right? Six times one, six times two, six times three. It's like skip counting. Six times four. Six times five. You go six times six. So I'm just gonna list them out and I'll be quiet while I do it. Times seven, six times eight. 6 times 9, 6 times 10, 11, and 6 times 12. I know that's 42, 48, 54, nope, not 59. Sorry about that. 60, 66, and then 72. So all of these down here, Six is a multiple of six because it's six times one. Twelve is a multiple of six because it's six times two. Eighteen is a multiple of six because it's six times three, and so on. Twenty-four is a multiple. Thirty is a multiple. Thirty-six is a multiple. And all of these numbers are multiples of six. Now here's something else that you'll notice, and again, it goes on forever. You could do six times thirteen and fourteen. You could really go on forever. But what I want you, I want us to realize, not only are these numbers multiples of six, but think about what we multiply by. The first we multiply times one. Well, six is also a multiple of one. Because <clears throat> if you list all the ones, right? One times one, one times two, one times three, you'll eventually reach one times six. And then think about the number two, right? Two times one, two times two. If you keep going all the way down, you'll eventually reach two times six. And the same thing with the threes. 18 is also a multiple of three, because it's three times six. And 24 is a multiple of four, and 30 is a multiple of five. So multiples represent repeated addition, or like this pattern, that you can just kind of do one number at a time. Think about if you want to find the multiples of five, you can count by fives. You want to find the multiples of nine, you can count by nines. Those are what we call multiples. Now, if you're ever confused or if you ever want some kind of a, some kind of chart, this is what I recommend. Let me see if I can pull up a nice chart. I think it's in here. Hold on. This one right here. I hope you can see this pretty well. Let me make it a little bit larger. Doesn't skew it. There you go. So let's say you're looking for. Um, uh, let's say you're you're trying to find factors for the number. I don't know, uh, fifteen. So what you do is you go through the chart and you find numbers where you see fifteen. And what do you notice about these numbers 15? Well, the, these two numbers that I circle, uh, 15. Um, you have 5 times 3, or you have uh, 3 times 5, right? Because you can go 5 times 3, or you could go 3 times 5. So 15 has factors of uh, five, 5 and 3, or 3 and 5, or 15 is a multiple of 5, and it's also a multiple of 3. Because if you count by fives, 5, 10, 15, 
Or if you count by threes, three, six, nine, twelve, you'll reach fifteen. Okay, I'm getting a little bit long here, so I just want to show you one more example. Um, let's say you're looking some numbers. What's one that we struggle with? Let's look at uh, the number twenty. Oh, I'm looking for a number that repeats often. I know we've seen twenty-four already. Uh, all the places where 24 um, resides. Okay, so here's 24. You can multiply 2 times 12, right? 2 times 12 is 24. Uh, oh, I missed it right here. You can multiply 3 times 8. That's 24. 4 times 6. Or 6 times 4. Uh, right here, 6 times 4. And you can multiply 8 times 3. And then again down here, you can multiply um, 2. Oops, sorry. You can multiply 2 <laughs> times 12. <laughs> All right. So those are, so again, let, let me just clarify. If you multiply two numbers together, like 2 times 12, those are factors of 24. But 24, conversely, is also a multiple. It's a multiple of 12 if you count by 12. And it's also a multiple of 2 if you count by 2s. 24 is a multiple of 8. It's a multiple of 3. It's a multiple of 6 and a multiple of 4. It's a multiple of 4 and also of 6. It's a multiple of 3 and also of 8. It's a multiple of 2 and also of 12. So I hope, I hope that helps. I hope that kind of clarifies the difference between your um, factors and your multiples. Um, keep a lookout for another short video talking about um, prime numbers and composite numbers. That'll be coming up soon. Okay, if you have any questions, please reach out, but I hope, hope this helps clarify if you weren't sure.